Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a very interesting session. Uh, what we're going to learn today is the roadmap for executive leaders. Let's say there are IT leaders, there are CIOs, there are infrastructure leaders, there are cybersecurity leaders and a lot of them and all of them have a need now to learn AI. But I've been getting a lot of questions, whether on email or on phone that, you know, Hey, how do we really begin with the journey of AI? Uh, how do we really uh, start? So where should I start from? Right? So that is a basic fundamental questions, which a lot of people are asking me. And uh, instead of really explaining each one of them, I thought, why not to create a video where you can just have a quick look and then possibly uh, I would be able to answer a lot of your questions. And also the question is, how did I start my AI career? Uh, so all of that and more is what this video is all about. Okay, so so where do you really start your AI journey, right? So if you see that, you know, I think you need to give about 12 months time to be able to fully grasp or at least reach a point where you understand uh, what AI is, what LLM is right at a surface level understanding is fine that you could learn possibly through one month, two months, but to really deeply understand and also build that solution, give value to your business, to the CEO, to the board, right? It is very important for all of us to understand that what really AI is, all of the components, breaking them down and navigate through this AI transformation journey, right? So, so I think it will take about 12 months. So firstly, where should I begin? Right? So we should first begin with understanding of the core concepts, right? So what is large language model, right? How it actually works? What are tokens? Everybody knows the word tokens, but what are they, right? And in a software sense as well, not fundamentally or, or theoretically understanding, but really going to the depth of coding the tokens, right? How do you code a token? There are a lot of websites you'll understand. Let's say, hi, how are you? It transforms into token. There is a, a tokenization or website as well. What are embeddings? How embedding works? These are theoretical concepts, but you really need to know on the field how that software works, right? Difference between, let's say, training LLM as against inferences. What are inferences? Okay. So you should also know tokens because the tokens have a clear impact on the cost. So tomorrow when you will develop an LLM solution, the key thing that will come is the cost, right? Uh, you can't just throw LLM for the namesake, but even the cost aspect of it, right? Uh, training versus fine tuning, prompt engineering, I think you've all guys learned. So it's prompt engineering, model capability. There are a lot of models, whether image model, uh, there is a text model, there are visualization model. Uh, so each of these LLMs are trained for a different purposes, right? So you should know what are the limitations as well as the capability. Where do you really host those LLMs, right? So then you need to know what is LLM now. There's a new funda of agentic AI, right? So you should know the fundamentals of what agentic AI is, right? So I think somewhere down the line, you need to begin with basics like, hey, what is LLM? How are embedding works? What is tokenization? Go to hugging phase, uh, get some model, get your hand dirty, go to Google Colab learn about it, you know, try and code with the, those, those guys who are doing, or maybe even I'm teaching videos now, you can check out my YouTube channel and see, and possibly practice it with me, right? So that's the first step. And then even agentic AI. So what is traditional AI and what is co-pilot or autonomous, uh, autonomous agents? What is multi-agents, right? What is co-pilot against multi-agents? And then how does this thing works in integration? So, you know, there are curated resources for busy people, right? Uh, I think Udemy is also a very good place where there are a lot of Udemy courses that you can check out. 
um, where you can actually they give you workbooks and uh, they will also give you labs so that you can practice with them instead of YouTube as well. So I think that's also a good place. Uh, I've already got my even YouTube, uh, uh, sorry, Udemy course on responsible AI and LLM security, right? So understand technical, right? Now there are very good courses by deeplearning.ai. This is where actually when I started, very good courses. There are LLM for, and weekly 30 minutes you should spend. You should also look at few amazing handles on, on Twitter uh, that you could learn from, right? So this is what you should learn for at least two to three months, right? That should be a two to three months goal. Get your hand dirty, learn the basic stuff, right? Now that assume two to three months have passed and you've got guys have learned some basic fundamental. Now what do you do? Now what you can do is participate with business, right? And learn what is use case development. So obviously you've learned, go and talk to your business, go and talk to your colleagues or on, on a lot of your company CIOs or CISOs or whoever they are across your companies or outside of your companies and see what use case they are deploying or perhaps get few interns and start working with them, right? Create a small cohort and move beyond theoretical understanding to identifying concrete use cases, right? Where, which are high impact or maybe forget about high impact, just go and do it, right? right? So map few use cases. Uh, I think the best use cases right now is on coding and also on customer support, a lot of legal work, finance, agents, a lot of these drudges um, um, work is kind of getting automated using AI. So a lot of use cases uh, and then gain hands on experience. I think hands on experience is must. You should learn to build it, right? I think if you don't know coding, right? For leaders who don't know coding or not from coding background, I think you can go and learn, uh, go on Replit or Vercel or or a, a cloud or various other websites where it's a low code, no code. So you don't need to learn coding. All you need to know is use cases, business problems, and knowing the, uh, the capability of what agents are and what agentic capabilities are and what AI could do. Okay. So do that practically go to these websites and with just single prompt, you can actually create your own, own, uh, website or tools or platforms or products, you can do a lot, right? Then of course, get a small team and then start doing brainstorming. So this will consume another two to three months, right? Two to four months, actually deploying the use cases, working with people. And meanwhile, once you are down the line for four to six months, continue your learning in deeper understanding of what RAG is, what vector database is, how do you build a vector database? You know, of course, if you're at a very senior level, you may have an architect who could help you to do this, but understanding of these concepts of RAG vector database is very important. Okay. Now one very important point is very important for all these leaders is you should know how to use AI responsibly because there are laws which are coming up, which are already there. Let's say in Europe, there is already AI regulation there, uh, which means you need to make sure your data is bias free. You should continuously audit your data for biasness. Uh, decisions that AI is taking should be documented. Uh, you know, there is, um, it should be secure, the access control around that. Then um, uh, also toxicization, uh, the toxic data that should come should be validated. Uh, then hallucination control of, of the AI should not hallucinate too much. Uh, also the safety, uh, uh, the legal aspect of it needs to be vetted when you work on it. Privacy aspect of it, as I said, you know, you should not dump your private data on LLM. Learning private LLMs against public listed LLMs. How do you use enterprise LLMs? How do you connect that to APIs? All of that. And this is where my course is a very exclusive course on Udemy around this stack. And then you can also learn conceptual understanding of latest framework. I think Microsoft Copilot studio is amazing for people who are already there on Microsoft platforms. There's also Google platform. There is crew AI. These are all free frameworks, which you could use. 
so this will again consume your four to six months so i think i mean you know almost a year has passed now and you've got detailed understanding of what basic fundamentals are you've picked up some use cases as well you're working in a small squad team to develop learn you know spend some time in a week of you know few hours every day maybe or create a group of people and continue to work on those use cases while you keep your head also on learning half an hour a day in terms of the rag the systems the architecture and ai is changing at a rapid space pace right and therefore you need to keep abreast of what's happening in ai like suddenly uh, nano banana came in and things changed uh, you know a lot of these websites are also changing new models are coming up right so if you see you know you have to work in that way and of course 6 to 12 months phase 4 is adoption right now whatever you have learned as an individual it's okay but in an organization if you really want to show an impact to your business sponsor a program get few if you have that level where you can you should do that create a small governance team also get be participate in external thought leadership you know there are a lot of uh, discussions in, happening in and around your areas like future gpt in pune bangalore you know where a lot of leaders across the board come they discuss about uh, what 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 are what is working in in ai what is not right so community learning and then present the pilot to your business and try and scale so as i said continue to improve your ai literacy right keep a clear focus on that and yeah master the language map business application navigate risk intelligently drive practical pilots and shape organization future right so that's how you would be able to learn ai and its journey i'll try my best to put some of the links some of the goodies um, llms websites or platforms like hugging face i'll send you all the links there and the courses that i recommend which i have also done personally so that you could improve your ai journey better faster all right thanks a lot for watching guys in case if you have any question to you can dm me on linkedin as well and like subscribe and share it to your people thank you bye bye